My name is Burton White and our group had Cicero on the laws. To begin, Cicero was a famous Roman lawyer, speaker, statesman, and constitutionalist, and he was also a political philosopher as well. He wrote a famous book on law called De Legibus, which roughly means on the laws. In the book, he wrote a lot about what he thought about law and natural law in particular. Cicero believed that law was not a matter of written statutes and lists of regulations, but was a matter deeply ingrained into the human spirit, one that was an integral part of the human experience. Specifically, his reasons surrounded the fact that humans were created by a higher power or powers. This so-called higher power, which created the universe, did endow humans with a bit of its own divinity, giving the human race the powers of speech, reason, and thought. Due to this spark of divinity inside of humans, they must be related to the higher power in some fashion. Because humans share reason with the higher power and because this higher power is presumed to be benevolent, it follows that humans will likewise be benevolent. The reason is what Cicero considers the law in particular. To him, the law is whatever promotes good and forbids evil. He also says that law does not and cannot begin with men. Human laws can be good or bad depending on whether they are in sync with the eternal natural law. Additionally, to Cicero, a law enacted for a purely temporary or local purpose is law because of public approval. Lastly, Cicero uses the analogy of unschooled people passing themselves off as doctors and prescribing deadly treatments. He argues that no one in their right mind would dare call such treatments medicine or their practitioners doctors. All in all, he argues that man-made laws that don't match the natural eternal law are not to be called laws at all. I'm Carpenter, and this week my group's primary source is Cicero on the Laws by philosopher Marcus Tullius Cicero. I was given the question of what is the role of the ruler in Cicero's writing. Cicero influences this piece with his belief of the utmost law is natural law, the way the flora and fauna governs itself in our world. Cicero explains his belief further by writing that human law has to match or reflect upon the laws of nature in order for human law and rule to be fair. He also explains his theory that the source of all laws comes from from knowing what nature's gifts are to man and setting rules on how to properly care for those gifts, as well as constructing punishment for the incorrect use of those gifts. I think the role of the ruler is being the right lawmaker that takes into account our world's natural law, recognizes, our, recognizes nature's gifts to us, and lastly, makes laws that are easy to abide by and keeps his laws enforced. Thank you.